Four years after Pope Francis gave orders to open the Vatican's wartime archives, while asserting that the Church is not afraid of his story, a newly discovered letter dated 14 December 1942 suggests that World War II era Pope Pius XII had reliable information about the extermination of Jews by the Nazis in German-occupied Poland. The letter, written by Lothar Koenig, a Jesuit who was in the anti-Nazi resistance in Germany, addressed to the Pope's personal secretary, Robert Lieber. Koenig wrote that the Nazis were killing up to 6,000 Jews and Poles daily in SS furnaces at the Belzec camp near Rawaruska, a town which was then in Poland and is now in western Ukraine. The letter weakens the Catholic Church's claim that it was not able to denounce Nazi atrocities as it could not verify reports sent by British and Polish envoys to the Vatican. It is apparent now that Pius XII chose to remain silent despite having received a detailed report from a relatively trustworthy source. Giovanni Coco, a Vatican archivist, is certain that Pius XII either read the letter himself or was informed about its contents by his right-hand man, Lieber. Why did the powerful Pope remain a mute spectator to the colossal atrocities? Probably, he feared that the Nazis would target Catholics if he spoke up. It's also likely that he believed that the Axis powers would win the war. Or maybe, he simply feared for his own life. In any case, his silence emboldened the Nazis to brazenly perpetrate their horrendous crimes against humanity. German Pastor Martin Neimoller then they came for the Jews. And I did not speak out. Because I was not a Jew. Then they came for me and there was no one left. To speak out for me. It's time for the Vatican to candidly and dispassionately scrutinize Pius XII's. Conduct during the Holocaust The truth, no matter how unpalatable, should come out. Members of Parliament will move into M the new Parliament House today. A fresh beginning is being made. The occasion also calls for an honest assessment. On the first day of the special session, held in the old Parliament House on Monday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi recalled the many bittersweet memories of the building. Despite differences and disputes, he said in his speech, it witnessed Parivar Ghav, within bracket, a feeling of family. That sense of being part of a national collective no matter the ideological positions, is fast waning. A breakdown in trust between the government and the opposition is not unusual, but the persistent bitterness as well as the lack of traditional courtesies certainly are. What should set alarm bells ringing is any undermining of the customs and conventions that have shaped the values of our parliamentary system.